galvanometer. You must have seen such panel meters which indicate the voltage or the current flowing in the circuit. The heart of such an instrument is a galvanometer. Galvanometer is an instrument used to indicate the presence, direction or strength of a small electric current. Objective In this topic, we will study the construction of a galvanometer, its working and its sensitivity. Construction A reliable galvanometer was built in 1880 by the French physicist Jacques Arsène de Assonval. In a moving coil galvanometer, a cylindrical soft iron core with a movable rectangular coil is placed at the center between the poles of a magnet with only a small gap between them. The coil is supported on a pivot. A pointer is fixed to the pivot such that the rotation of the coil causes the pointer to move along a calibrated scale. The motion of the coil is controlled by two hair springs which hold the coil in the zero position when no current is applied. The magnetic poles north and south are skillfully shaped surrounding the soft iron core so as to produce a radial magnetic field in the air gap. This ensures that the magnetic field is constant in magnitude and always parallel to the plane of the coil, irrespective of the position of the coil. These conditions are necessary if the instrument is to have a scale with uniform calibration as will be discussed later. Working A galvanometer works on the principle that a torque is experienced by the current carrying rectangular coil placed in a uniform magnetic field. Consider a rectangular coil of n turns having area A carrying current I and placed in a uniform magnetic field B. We know that the torque experienced by this coil is given by tau equals N A I B sin theta. Since N A and B are constant for a galvanometer, the torque acting on the coil will be dependent on current I and sin theta where theta is the angle between the applied magnetic field and the area vector. The pointer is always fixed such that it is parallel to the area vector. So this angle theta would be the same as the angle between the applied magnetic field and the pointer. In the non-radial magnetic field, the relation between the torque acting on the coil and the current would be non-linear. Hence, an increase in current would cause non-linear deflection of the pointer. But if the magnetic field is radial, as explained earlier, theta will always be 90 degrees, irrespective of the position of the coil. Hence, sine theta will always be equal to 1, irrespective of the position of the coil. This will establish a linear relationship between the torque and the current. Hence, the torque experienced by the coil in the radial magnetic field will cause linear deflection of the pointer. This gives us a direct measure of the current. The coil turning under the action of this torque, tau, distorts the springs and develops a restoring torque, tau r, within it. Both the torques act in opposite directions. The magnitude of tau r increases with the deflection of the pointer. It is given by tau r equals k alpha, where k is the torsional constant and alpha is the deflection of the pointer.
at one position, tau r balances tau and the pointer stops getting deflected further. Tau r equals tau. That is, k alpha equals n a i b. Therefore, the deflection of pointer alpha equals n a i b over k. Yeah, N, A, B and K are constant. Thus, the deflection of the pointer is directly proportional to the current flowing in the circuit. Calibration of Galvanometer Current is passed through the coil so that the meter shows full scale deflection. The scale is then divided into an equal number of divisions. The value of one division can be calculated from this formula. If 10 microampere current gives full-scale deflection and if there are 20 divisions in all, then the value of one division becomes equal to 10 over 20 equals 0.5 microampere. This is how the calibration of the galvanometer is done. Sensitivity of the galvanometer The response of the galvanometer to the current flowing in the circuit is called sensitivity of the galvanometer. The information about the sensitivity of the galvanometer helps us in selecting the correct galvanometer for the particular application. The current sensitivity of a galvanometer is defined as the deflection per unit current and equals alpha over I. Using the equation for deflection, we can get the current sensitivity equals alpha over I equals NAB over K. Similarly, the voltage sensitivity is defined as alpha over V, where alpha is the deflection when the potential difference across the galvanometer is V. Replacing the formula for alpha and V, alpha over V equals N A I B over K I R C, where R C is the resistance of the galvanometer coil. Hence, the voltage sensitivity equals N A B over K R C. Later on, we will study how a galvanometer can be converted to a voltmeter and ammeter. Summary Galvanometer is an instrument used to indicate the presence, direction or strength of a small electric current. A galvanometer works on the principle that a torque is experienced by the current carrying rectangular coil placed in a uniform magnetic field. The deflection of the pointer is directly proportional to the current flowing in the circuit. Current sensitivity alpha over I equals NAB over K and Voltage sensitivity equals alpha over V equals NAB over KRC.